two, one, boom. And we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. Sydney and BJ here again. We were just talking about yoga and uh, body weight. So uh, let's let's jump back into that. So you were saying about um, uh, yin practice versus yang practice? Well, I was like, so I do a lot of yin practice in mm -hmm. my, because I was like, oh, I go to the gym, I play sports. So it's like, that's my yang practice. You know, mm -hmm. it's like yeah, me for sure. doing that's a lot of energy so it's a lot of fire so mm -hmm. i was like okay let me just do yin at home you know before i sleep when i wake up and like i should be fine like mm -hmm. that's the perfect balance and as i did this for for about a year now it got to a point where like my back was really strong like uh really flexible now i i always had chronic back pain right and then, and then it turned and then like my back was completely fine mm-hmm but then now everything shifted to my my left hip, and I was like, okay. Is it the yin that you were doing? Like, well, how would you fix it? How would you fix your? I was back? doing. I was doing yin. Yeah, I was doing a lot of yin. So I was always on the floor practicing yoga. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. I'm always on the floor practicing yoga, doing a lot of stretches. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. Like I, I don't want to say everything. It'll take. It'll be like a whole hour of the whole practice. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. If you're listening to this, I can give you a free yoga practice right now. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, coupon code right there uh, um <laughs> so then it turned to my hip and i was like i was trying to, i was doing the in postures and it was just like it was not hitting like it was it was kind of working like temporarily uh -huh. but it was not hitting the the, the right spot okay so then yeah. i and then i i shifted into like going into a more yang practice so it's like doing more of the warrior warrior postures so uh, then, uh, uh, for for people who are like listening, just sorry, sorry, just like a quick uh, aside. Yeah. So like yin is like you hold um, relaxed postures for like a minute, three minutes to three to five minutes, three to five minutes. Yeah. And, and then uh, yang is like you can do like flows, which are, or you can do like 30 seconds of a posture and they're more like upright. You're using more tension to like keep yourself stable a bit in case you're wondering, like, what's he talking about yin yang? So, yeah. All right. Continue. Yes. That was a great example. Thank you for that. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I started doing more of the uh, warrior postures. So, uh -huh. and then it like working your hip in into the warrior postures. It, it really got to a, a spot that was not was not getting hit while I was doing the relaxed postures. Right. And I was like, and once that happened, I was like, I can't just do yin and then do like my weightlifting and then going to the gym and playing sports. Mm, I need yeah. to also do this uh the yank postures which is the flows and then like the building of the strength and being in those lunges and um just hitting those spots with those hips with what the hip and the lunge uh-huh what do you think yeah, it is like about it. the the yang though because like like you're doing the sports and you're doing like the weightlifting and stuff and it's like what is it about the yang that you you like benefited from you know sorry oh, i gotta sneeze uh, okay yes, you, oh, okay guess up. Oh. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, all right, cool. So, yeah, yeah, so, like, um, like, what's the benefit of, like, the yang for you? Like, what, because you were doing, like, uh, weightlifting and, like, all this other stuff. So, it's, like, why? And that's why... what I thought. I thought that would be, like, oh, yeah, that's my, this is my. It's, like, good enough, right? This is my yang. Yeah, you know, like, I thought that would be good enough, you know? So, yoga, yoga consciousness. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, for that, sure. That, that, that's yang in, it, in itself. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. But right, like, in my life, that is a yang practice, but then it's it was not benefiting my body as much as uh, a yang practice would have. Right, 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 right. A, a yang yoga practice, like doing the sequence, like a, like a conventional like, yoga commercial, like what you see on yes. TV kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Like it, I thought I thought I could substitute that for sports and like what I enjoy going right like doing in priority of over like doing a yang practice right and right, building right. strength that way but then it was like wait no my body is telling me that you do need to build your strength for sure using yeah, yeah, yeah. the conventional yoga practice and like you can you can substitute it but you need to have it still in your still in your everyday practice so that you can maintain what you are building on yeah, it, you know it, what I mean. Like, it, if I'm weightlifting, sure. you like, my body needs to get used to the new weight, the new muscles that are being built. Uh huh. And I, and I believe that the that that practice of yoga will give you that 
that body awareness to like to con fully control your body. You right, know, right, like, right. Yeah, yeah. So you're not gonna get injured. You won't get injured because you know your body. It's it's almost like micro muscles too. You know, like um, you you are building the awareness and like the mobility and stuff, but you're also building like micro muscles which you would have never thought to have built otherwise. You know, um, one of the first. Oh yeah, people, exactly. Right, like, and I, I think that's what I think that's what the what the difference is. That's the benefit. Uh huh. Oh okay. That's the benefit of it. Oh, okay. I'm dipping in. See you. Oh. oh okay, cool. I'll just drive. Oh dang didn't know that so, uh, so that's the benefit of yoga I, and i think that's what my body was missing and that's why it turned to the hips right 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 i got so you i was not building the micro muscles i was just lifting weights and i was like not not building those muscles that can support the weight that i was building right right oh actually that makes sense yeah, yeah like you're like off right? and that's out what of I'm balance thinking. and stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. no no right. i i, I like totally my body, my, like my joints my like my joints weren't weren't used to the new weight uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no longer in party due to network error. Okay, that's interesting. We're gonna try and fix this up, guys. And bang, we're back. Uh, a little bit of a, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a network error. I don't know what happened there. That's so weird. PlayStation, you need to fix your. Uh... Although it did say like PlayStation's currently running like a a network fix or something. Okay. Like like I saw that, so I was like, oh okay, maybe that's what's going on right now. So whatever, who cares? Well. It's a freak accident. So you're saying about the uh, the uh, off balancing of your weight distribution, like you you were getting too jacked yeah. in one way, and then well, um, not too. I wasn't get. I'm not jacked to be honest. Oh, but, but like, like it was, you're... I was building. I was building more muscle than my body. My joints were used to. We'll right, 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 right. And that's how I was feeling. That's why it transferred to my hip. Like my lower back wasn't the issue anymore. It's like why is it transferred to my hip? And I didn't understand. Oh, interesting. And like. Like and that's why, and then that's why I started doing the more of the yang practices, like, uh -huh. like building strength, doing the the lunges and holding them, and right, doing, right, going right. into flows. And I was like, oh, like it's it's hitting different areas that I wasn't getting doing just going into that relaxed postures. For sure, for yeah, I was noticing that like um, a lot of people are starting to get back, in, like starting to get into yoga, like a lot of pro athletes because of that exact reason, you know, where it's like. Um, off balanced muscles or whatever like it, it creates um, I don't want to say body aware it does create body awareness but it's more it like does, it micro does muscles. Body awareness. yeah totally but it also it, it builds body awareness plus it it, um, it builds, builds those micro muscles so that you can have that full body awareness for sure yeah totally totally you I was know? I was um, I was uh, like my first experience with like yoga and martial arts being put together, like before it was like when you were doing martial arts, like your brother actually uh, showed me the first time it was a uh, Hicks and Gracie from, uh, from uh, the Gracie family, like the UFC people, like the best fighter of all time. And uh, his yeah. whole workout routine was not lifting weights. It was like doing jujitsu and yoga. Cause like he knew yeah. that like the, the way you need to move your body is like very important. It had nothing to do with like how much you can bench, you know? Yeah, exactly. Right? And like, uh, like for, for my, like I sit oh. a lot now and like, I find that cause you were saying before, like, I was like, oh, I don't need the yoga anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Like I don't need to strengthen my muscles, but now like, because I'm sitting a lot, my back is actually quite sore. So I have to like re-strengthen it through the yoga postures, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how, what I'm, what's happening to me too. Like my, I'm, I'm sitting a lot too. And that's why I've been changing my my uh practice well when you it's sit like yin's not working right totally yeah, yeah. When, when you yeah. sit do you sit with like uh like a different way i know there's like you could sit like slouched over you can sit like sitting upright or like sitting off the edge like is there a particular way you try to sit when you sit well if i'm conscious of how i'm sitting then i'm always going to be upright right right right. yeah but it still find it hurts um, though you know like because i'm using the muscles it does it, because your muscles aren't like they're not used to being that straight because like growing up, I was a slouch sitter. Right, right, so, right, 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 for sure. So my muscles have gotten used to being slouched. I wonder what it is about the, the sitting as compared to the, um, the like standing. Cause like if I stand all day, it's not as bad as if I sit all day, you know what I mean? Oh, well, cause the, it's probably because all the weight when you're sitting is on your tail, like on the, the, like the bottom of your spine. 
Oh, actually, you know, as soon as you said that, I was like feeling it out in my own body. I was like, oh, yeah, totally. Like all of the weight is like supported on my hip bones, or, like my, my tailbone. Yeah. Oh, OK. And you think that's why? So Whereas that, if that, I'm and standing... that's why I think more of the pressure is going into your lower back. Oh, yeah, for sure. For back. sure. And for then sure. When you're standing, it's like. It's not. Yeah, it's not on your. It it, it's like channeling head. out into your like feet. Yeah, it goes towards your legs, and then like what they like to say, it escapes through uh, your feet. Yeah, escapes out of your feet. Oh, so that makes like... a lot of sense. Because I have seen like a lot of those like um those like posts about how like oh you shouldn't sit sitting is a killer, and I'm like what does that mean you know? But it's like you know that that totally makes sense. My my lower back can only sustain sitting for a, like a specific period of time. Actually, I when I when I'm sitting on the chair, I like to resume like half half lotus pose. Cause like for me, it's oh, nice. like, couldn't, but like, yeah. I, it just, it, it like pulls so the one weight leg, off. So one leg, one leg is out. The other one is bent in. Oh, uh, no, no. Uh, one leg What's is stacked lotus? on top of the other. Oh, you like that one. Oh yeah. 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 Cause, cause like. You can for, do that? Yeah. Well, okay. What, you have it, the flexibility for that? Oh, for sure. Yeah. When we were doing the YTT, that's how I'd always sit every night. No, but not not to be like weird. It's so funny though, because like when people like look at you, they're like, "Oh shit, he's being so like like spiritual and stuff." I'm like, "No, no, my spine can't actually uh, like sustain itself sitting with both of my hip bones on the floor. Like I have to like like I'm, my my body's like awkwardly shaped." Okay, let me see. You know I'm gonna saying? try it out right now, actually. J- just stack drive. stack one like you know well you know like one the square foot pose. over the other. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like square pose, but it's, square, it's well, yeah, but it's, not yeah, not again, really. I like kind of, you know. Are you okay? I'm on it. See, see, like if I if I do like regular cross-legged sitting I, that you do, when I do, yeah. Right, it's like okay. it shifts the it. weight back a little bit. Like if if I'm doing like yeah. normal, no, no, no. I right, right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. That, that's the only reason why I sit like that. It's not for spiritual reasons. Oh. It's like my spine hurts, you know. Oh wow! It uh, it does it does distribute the weight way differently yeah yeah now. right yeah, yeah. So i'm you're... actually doing it right I, I i changed i was sitting cross-legged now yeah. i am sitting stacked my feet stacked together uh-huh. and i don't i don't want to say my balls but my balls are resting <laughs> on my heels so like, yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. that's and... what's happening right now and i honestly feel that like my the weight that was on my lower back has is is com- like not completely gone but it, it it's the load is like half yeah exactly exactly yeah yeah, exactly exactly it's being distributed better interesting yeah that is interesting i i find that like this now i know right like it's it's sick but like then then what happens is like one one hip bone gets stretched out so i have to switch the legs after a while you always have to switch legs yeah yeah yeah, you can't like just hold it for too long um but oh yeah sick yeah sorry i'm just i'm enjoying i'm enjoying this posture right now yeah, you it's nice. Enjoy eh? this posture. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, my back feels way straighter now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because when, when I'd sit and do the meditation, I was like, I'd always come out of meditation because my back was like hunched over because I'm trying to compensate yep. forward, right? That, that's that's how I was too. Right. And, exactly. But if you sit right. in square pose, it's like you can sustain this for a lot longer. Well, not square square pose. Oh, it's not square. It's like half. It's called half lotus, yeah. but like, I just call it square because it's like it's quite similar, but it's not the exact same thing. Wait, where was I going? Back to your Wait, okay. I stacked my two feet together. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Square is like when you put your ankle onto your yeah, weird, not, you, uh, your your knee. shin your shin is on top of your shin, kind of thing. My shin's not no. No, no, a square. Mine is square, like heel square. and heel. Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, okay. Uh, like kneecap to heel, kneecap to heel. That that's like square. Yeah. Okay. But but if you do what half you lotus, half lotus is okay. where you can you pull your ankle more towards the, your inner thigh, so it, like it releases the load. Oh, okay. Like because the more the more um, parallel it is to one another, oh, the more okay. right you I know feel what it. You're talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm like all square and like. I'm half not doing lotus. that. I am oh. not doing that. Oh, what are you doing? I am. I put my. I stack my two feet together. Okay. And I'm kind of sitting on top of that. Oh, that's interesting. That's a new way to do it. Stack your two feet together yeah. and you're sitting. Oh, okay. No, I, I've never done that before. Sounds and like I'm some sitting sort of... on top of my two feet. Oh, so yeah. that's new. I've never done that before. It's kind of cool. 
It will hurt the ankles if you have ankle problems. Oh, for sure, like but, over time uh, and stuff, yeah. But I'm on my bed, so it works perfectly for me. Right, right. I know what you. I know what you're doing. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. I, I can't find... do that one yet. No. Oh, it's the kneecap, eh? Yeah, it's my left knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to like I, relax. I had tonight. tendonitis. I had tendonitis on my left knee growing up since I was 14 till like 20. So yeah, it's like a lot of basketball. <laughs> You're basketball volleyball down. i was outside every day running with you guys chilling sure, so yeah, i was yeah. like there was no resting no stretching no yoga yeah for sure pretty yeah. much and then i had tendonitis and i had it for years and it, it honestly i stopped playing sports because of it do you, do you find that the yoga actually helped fix it you know people are like oh i don't know if it fixed it but it's more like it strengthened me to like do well, I, I never had any problems actually well, i, I fixed you. it before yoga so, oh really yeah yeah i did a i i like i went through physio for so long that i was oh, like yeah, i know what you're gonna tell physio. me now right 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 i was right, like right. i know what you're gonna tell me to do you're just gonna tell me to keep stretching and right. then that's when i learned about resistance resistance, resistance. training when you're weight when you're weightlifting. oh what's that it's where you you know when you go down slowly oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So those ones you. So oh, I started true. like they're like focus on that more and like because I used to do a lot of uh, like yeah, I used pushing? to weightlift when I was in high school also. Um, right, so, you do like, like explosive just, stuff. No, no, no. It was it was like yeah, oh, well, kind of. So you you do one explosive, uh -huh. one explosive movement, and then you slowly go back to the natural. Like so, you you when you're doing a bench, you push up as fast as you can, and then you go slow, uh, go down as slow as you can. Right, right, right. I got you. And then that's the resistance. So that was like my physio was like, you need to build more strength in your muscles. So focus more on resistance training. I was like, okay. Interesting. So that's how I learned about resistance training when I was like fourteen. Right. And then right, that's, right. and then they're like, it focused on that. And then that, I I just kept doing that. I kept I kept biking too. Oh, really? Biking I, I was a, Well, no, nah, not at like outside. I used to bike outside with you, but this was like at the gym. I would just bike. Oh, I would right, include yeah, it in, in my, yeah. That was your warm-up I would include before. it. Yeah. You remember when I used to or work no, out Or no, it would you? be my end. Oh, okay. It would be yeah, my yeah. end, actually. Because my warm-up would be an elliptical to get my whole body right, moving. Right, yeah, it was the elliptical. Go yeah, through the yeah, training. Yeah. Right. Go, like, 20-minute elliptical. Go through the weightlifting for an hour. And then, another, like, a, a like a 20-minute um, interval tra uh, interval bike ride. Yeah. Interesting. That was my... You, you know that they say and that that interval it was the interval that that explosiveness the interval uh -huh. training that was to build like to build a lot of strength too so i was like okay oh. yeah so that's why it was that was my workout and that i did that for years and and then yeah once i hit like 20 it was 21 that's when it completely was gone your your uh, tendonitis yeah oh really well, say seven years yeah completely oh, gone like i was like yo I am good. I can go back to sports, and that's when I started playing sports again. Wow! Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, I had a, like I had a big I had a big break from sports. Yeah. Right. Huh. So, but you did play in college and stuff. A little bit. No. But not no, like I didn't as hard join as... any. I didn't join any teams. Nothing. Oh I really? Just, oh. No. No. I just played at the gym sometimes when I was like missing the sport. Yeah. 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 But like. I never got serious into it. Everyone, everyone asked me why, but I was just, it was because of my knee. And I was like, I'm not, like, I, I, I did not enjoy sports anymore because of my knee. It, like, it was hurt every time. So I was right. like, no. Huh. So once I got rid of it, I was like, oh, I'm back into it. So he, that's the story of my life, man. He, he that's why I was like, if I did have yoga when I was younger, that I would have been stretching out the muscles that I was right, right, like, right, right. straining. I would have I would have built the strength in my micro muscles so that um, that I could, you know, have that have that prevention, the injury prevention. That's why it's all about injury prevention. I think yoga is all injury prevention. Right, right. And it's like, yeah, you have to do it. If you don't do it, you will get injured. That's that's my whole point right there, man. Mm. You, you know, you know. They that's say why I'm that... back into it. Back into the yang. <laughs> you know that they say that um, uh, your muscles are actually not... It's like 80% of it is neural pathways and 20% is actual muscle. So uh, if you if you end up doing like... Um, like 
like if you can visualize the exercise, you can do it more than if you can't visualize it because your brain is telling you that you can't um, do something and then you're en- you're going to end up not being able to do it. So like my what I'm trying to get at is like, uh, do you find that, because I know we used to work out really, really hard before, right? And like I thought I was like really, really strong. And although I may be strong, like um, now when I go back to like certain exercises, it's like nothing changed. Like I went back to the, you know how we used to do 45s on each side? Yeah. I went back yeah, to the... That's- like standard, that's a warm-up, right? bro. Yeah, well, I, know, I can't go that hard. Yeah. Like my, my max was always the 45s. So, like, uh, when when we ended up... Uh, ooh, you got hit. Uh, when, when I ended up going back recently, I was, like, able to jump back into the 45. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like, I haven't I haven't done but this you, exercise in so long. You do a lot of push-ups, though. So you have a lot of the micro muscles built in. I know oh, okay, you okay. So you think it's, like... So- you, like, what, what is that? You know, like, because I'm like, how does strength work? I, I actually don't understand it. You know, because I, I really thought that I was going to go back and be like screwed, you know. Oh, but you've your muscles have been like are strong. You know what I mean? But, like but you've like, done exercises like this for so long now. How long have you been practicing? That, that's true. That's like, true. But I, I, was, arts, how long? It, so I, like, I, I hear things like, you know, they're like, uh, oh, you're uh, you're, you know, like they're like, if you go to the gym and then you get really swole and then it goes away. Right. So I'm like, oh, OK, so that's like fake strength, you know, like it's. It's strong, yeah, exactly. but it can be like, it'll, it'll quickly be lost. Right. But like yeah. this, I didn't understand it. Cause it's like, how come I'm still able to do something? You know, is, is it a micro muscle? Like I heard that micro muscles are a lot stronger than uh, the macro muscle, like the bigger ones. Yeah. But I, but I, I don't know, know like, why, but I, I would just say that you've maintained the strength. So you used to lift, right? Yeah. Lifting is to build strength. Right. So. Yeah, see, I don't know any of this. Like, I was only doing it because you guys are doing this. Like, okay. Wait, I, I, I use it to build strength. Okay, I use yeah, it to yeah. build strength. And, oh, okay. Um, so, like, what, what's an optimal way to, like, keep your oh, body shit. healthy, do you think? Like, like how much uh, exercise per- do you need, you know? perfect balance. Right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like, how much exercise do I really need? That's the big question, you know? Like, you, like I know it's like, uh, you can you can go like hard every single day, you know, like like we're gonna go for three hours every single day, but then it's like, is there a point of diminishing oh returns gosh. or a point of like you're just of wasting course. your time? Look at those. Ugh. It's all preference. Ah, oh, gosh, <laughs> oh, it's all what? preference, my friend. A lot of people will think that that's the way to go. Right, like go yeah. hard, you know. But it's like, yeah, is it really the way? You know, like it's, it is for them. Right. Who am I to say otherwise? But like, what? How much are they built? Like, my my big fear would be like, you know, people are like, oh, as you get older, you're gonna get weaker. It's like, is that really true, or is it just like weaker in the sense that you can't lift like 300 pounds anymore? Like, what's the point of lifting 300 pounds? I like personally, unless you're like a football player or like your your life hinges on it. You know, like your, um, you know what I mean? Like, if you're if you're like a professional athlete, it's like, okay, I get it. You're like you're getting this way for a specific thing but like when you do it and you like work at the bank and you're like super swole it doesn't make sense you, you, you know maybe they do it as a hobby they love it man i guess yeah well uh yeah i guess yeah if they love it what can we say and people that work at the bank and do it they love it so but, but it's it's like it's confusing to me because i'm like how how much should you um, how much should you work out? You know, like I've, I've, that's, that's the big question, you know, like how much should you work out before? Like you're just deteriorating your body because you haven't done anything. Mm. Well, okay. Yeah. yeah. Come, I'm, I'm gonna get this one. Where are you going? Oh yeah, that's true. It's true. If, if you do it, I was gonna get the car and like shoot him, but I can shoot oh, him back. Okay. Here. Okay. Fine. You want to do that? No, come uh, here. Uh, you do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool. Oh, you want me to drive and no, no, you no. shoot? I'll, I'll drive you shoot. Oh, this guy threw me off. I like it. I like it. Why? Oh. All right. So yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah, no. do you do you have like a specific? Can you set waypoints. Oh, yeah. oh, let me set this up. Set oh, there's waypoints. one behind oh, us. One right, right in front, front of us. So, uh, do you have uh, any setup things? You have sticky that you bombs. Do? No, I don't. Oh, I killed him though. Is that it? We have to destroy the whole band then. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, sick. Was that you? No, it didn't work. 
Yeah, do, do you have like a specific routine that you do or like... For like, what? Uh, like, like work, working out just and stuff? Training? Yeah, yeah. Because like I, I know that people like, oh, my daily practice is this, but it's like your body can often get like stagnated, you know? It, yeah. You know, it's like... Well, I, yeah, exactly. I, it, my mind changes. I always like, I do it with, with weightlifting. It's like focus training. Okay, well, like what is that? When I'm weightlifting. So it's like chest and tries. Back okay. and buys, right, uh, right, right? Shoulder traps, legs. You okay. know? So those are all different different days. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So you work them out separately, and that's you, just to build does focus it get a lot like, of building strength. So it's like once a week that. kind of thing. Yeah, you pretty much do once one ex. I do one exercise, one muscle group per week, uh -huh. and then oh, I do okay. like a body body weight day where it's like it's like light like. A lot of push-ups, a lot of pull-ups, and then I'll do yoga. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You, you, know those... you said a waypoint. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. did. Yeah. Uh, those, so yeah, those... then I, that's how it is. Like that's the that's what I do on uh -huh. my time. Yeah, yeah. But like sometimes when you like sometimes I'll have more time in the gym than others, so right. be like like chest days. Some some chest days I'll be like, oh, I can only be here for forty minutes, so I do like a quick quick power through in it and it's, i'm not getting the same benefit as if i stayed for like an hour and an hour 15 minutes no, and actually yeah. like did a full rest so i'm not i haven't been so i haven't been that intense with my workouts you know what i mean right 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 oh it's you ever just hear like of... i for me oh okay go uh yeah. you, you ever hear of um uh uh steve maxwell uh, no uh or ito portal yeah Okay, so um, Ido Portel, like everyone's, oh, oh shoot, I didn't even notice we're in front of him. So Ido Portel is like, uh, he's like Conor McGregor's like main fitness guy, right? And like, we're talking about like working out and stuff right now. And it's like, uh, and, and my question is like, how do you maintain it, right? But Steve Maxwell, he's like 80, no, he's 80, 70, 70 or something like that. He's like really old. Sorry, Steve, if you're listening, I don't actually know how old you are. I know you're old though. Uh, and like he was saying that that kind of workout that like, um that um uh Ido portal does it's not gonna last you know mm. just like just like our interval style oh you died yeah oh J just like our interval style training like all these weights and stuff like steve maxwell is like super jacked but his entire regime is like um just body weights you know he has like these trx yeah. bands and he does like that kind of movement and then he does like um like a bunch of other stuff that's more more inc more geared towards like being able to carry your weight but that seems very yogic you know yeah because like you, you can see like a lot of yogis um who are like super old and they're doing all these crazy like yoga postures so i'm wondering like is it weightlifting that's important or you know like the body's so interesting you know you can never say what's right or wrong and you can only say what's right or wrong for your own body you know Mm. exactly heard, right that's and, why it's it's for your body that's the main thing yeah, yeah yeah but but like we again we have like these uh these like archetypes of like oh if you want to be fit you got to do this this and this right and like you this see this is uh, armored that's why oh that's why it's so strong hey there you go Thanks. Cool. um can you uh set that next waypoint yeah oh, let me go film this guy uh, yeah, so like some fighters, like they talk about how they don't even weight lift. You know, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, he says like he doesn't really weight lift. Or Faraz Zahabi. Uh, like every time last time. Because like, Yo, it, it kind of like. Can you get on? Yeah. Hey, you gotta oh. jump on. Hey, whoops. Sorry. Oh, God. Crazy games. Where's yeah. the van? Uh, I gotta set the All oh, the van so far. Boom, got it. Uh, I'll set the... Yeah, you set the waypoint? Cool. All right, it's gonna be a longer drive, so we can talk. <laughs> cool, cool. So, uh, he, like, um, Demetri Johnson doesn't weight lift. Yeah, no, he does, but like, not, not like, it's not like the focal point of his, um, his like training regime. Same with, uh, mm -hmm. I think GSP. He does, he does weight lift, but, but I heard somewhere that uh, weight lifting machines were more for rehabilitation. I think I read that actually in a magazine before. It's like they were initially yeah. made for rehabilitation. It's only like now. That's why they're so isolated, you know? 
Yeah. Like we're, we're actually exactly. supposed to, right? Like we're, uh, to actually build muscle and be like strong and like uh, a full range of motion, you have to do like free weights because your body will compensate naturally how it's supposed to. But if you do like yeah. uh, isolated moves on a machine, it's like, it's like if you're injured and like you can't move anything else, only this one to like target it, you know? Mm. Yeah. yeah, I know that the, the machines makes total sense. But right, the cables, yeah. not really. It's a little unstable itself. So For that's sure, why yeah. people do cables. Uh -huh. I do a lot of dumbbells. Like free I weights. do a lot of my workouts with dumbbells. Yeah, oh, okay. free weights. Hmm. Um, and that's how I do a lot of my chest workouts, to, to be honest. Right. You know, you know uh, how when we were younger and stuff, you heard about like steroids and it's like, oh, steroids are so bad, blah, blah, blah. And like, it just had like a negative rap, right? And like in UFC yeah. and stuff, they try and kick out people who have steroids, right? Who like use steroids. But what yeah. we don't, what we don't realize is that actors totally use steroids all the time as a part of their role. Like uh, you haven't seen Thor, right? Yeah. You saw Thor? Well, no, I haven't. No, 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 I haven't. Oh, okay. So I, like know, that, I know the guy. Right, right. So if you watch the newest Thor, he, he like totally became an action figure, bro. Like if you, I like, it's crazy. Like his, his, his bicep his like his, um, his arm is like the size of my thigh, you know? Yeah. Because he's Thor. He's holding that big hammer. No, it's totally, totally, totally. But it's you like, know? it's like people will look at it and they don't realize like all the work. They think it's like all like, oh, egg yolks and like push ups and stuff. But it's like, no, he's definitely injecting something into his body to get that jacked. Maybe he's just a hard worker. No, yeah, he is. No, there's no way because it's like to pull to pull <laughs> like that. Even The Rock too, you know, like he's super. Like I again, these people are amazing. They're entertainers, but like, don't get it twisted that like you'll become this by doing push-ups and stuff. You know, I think that was one of the biggest things to learn about like going to the gym is like your body will will become strong in its own way and how it needs to, but it will never look like those models because those models are like no, you know exactly. what I mean. Like yeah, you know, don't get attached to the 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 look of the body. For sure, that's, for that's sure. I, but I remember well, that's why like, I don't that's why I don't work out that way. Right, right. Ex yeah, exactly, exactly. Because it's like it will never achieve that that state. But yeah, well, it I, depends I, what I what you want it for. You want it for mobility. I want. I was like, oh, since I play a lot of volleyball, I still need explosiveness, but I also need the flexibility since I'm doing a lot of twisting. Right, right. Then right, I was right. like going back into basketball too, so I was like, I really needed mobility, but I still need strength. So that's right, why right, I right, right. mix, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's it's just funny that like um I but yeah, I see what you mean, like uh about like what you want to get in for. So like Brentley always makes me laugh because you're like, Oh, why do you work out, bro? And he's like, To look good, you know? And then it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah you're, you're straight well, up about right. it right yeah, yeah, right? yeah. but good. like it's it's funny because like i'll do something and it's like it'll be more it'll be like difficult to functionally do for him even though he looks more jack than me you know because it's mm -hmm. like it's a mobility thing like that's that's what we get twisted that it's like just because they look like they're jacked and stuff doesn't mean that they can do the same things as like a freaking gymnast you know yeah oh man like oh, exactly crazy, like even easy yo yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, even all the women that that practice yoga, all those balanced postures and being in like one leg and oh, I know, right? Like, like dancers' pose or standing splits. Oh my gosh, like that, those that takes... are ridiculous postures. Right, it it takes like a, and a lot of strength, of... a lot of strength, a lot of flexibility, a lot of balance, a lot of micro muscles in the feet working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how it, like. They, that is an that is a posture I give creds to, to be honest. Totally, and and you never you really never think about that in terms of muscle. You know, you're not you never like oh that takes a lot of muscle. You like um, I mean like the conventional person. Obviously, we know because we're trying to do the moves and we're like oh man, it's so difficult. But it's like there's there's levels to strength. You know, like can you move your body and how it needs to be moved? You yeah. Know? Yeah, I find yeah, that, and that's like, what I think. That's what that's what yoga will do. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, totally. Mobility. Totally. Totally. I think that's why people are like getting more back into it. You know, like, like they're losing their attachment towards like looking good and trying to be more healthy in terms of like, can my body move how it's supposed to move? It's interesting to think that we're, we're actually animals, you know, that are just like sitting all the time. Like before, like we haven't evolved to, to sit, you know, we're still evolved to uh, hunt and gather like our body types. Right. So it'll be interesting uh... to see it. Right, right. It's like 
it, it's like if you took like a freaking a tiger and you put him in a cage and he couldn't move like his body would deteriorate because he's meant to move right that's how he's evolved oh no oh whatever we got 14k that was a far one. <laughs> yeah we are all the way in the other side of the map holy yeah so oh my gosh oh you turned around that's why oh this guy's trying to try to trick you there he did trick us. That's good. <laughs> uh, if you were like, um, if you were a, uh, it, like, it'll be interesting to see in the future if the body continues to evolve to match like our sinning types, and then we become like those white, like those like white aliens that you see all the time with the big like almond eyes. <laughs> right, right. No, it's gonna be crazy, right? It's like, it's like, oh, we've actually become that simply because we sit all the time. I, I haven't seen it yet, but like you, I think you brought it up multiple times to me, Wally. Wally, 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 the movie. Oh, oh, the movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. What about it? Yeah, like at the very end, that they were talking a, about like that was a good one. Really? Is is it worth watching? Like, should I watch it? Just watch it. Okay. Yeah. Watch it. So okay, it, watch it with your cousins or something. You know, just have it on while we, you know, like there's kids around. Right, if right, you right. You feel like that. Like I, I find that with like Disney movies and like uh, like animated movies, they have like a lot of good lessons. But it's the fact that it's like an animated movie. My brain is like, uh. I don't know what I'm watching, you know? You have to, like... You have to, like... Like, that, um... There was that bunny movie that came out. I saw it with my sister. Um... I don't know. Ho Hopper or something? So, something like that. It was, like, no. about a bunny. And then, uh... It was about, like, in the nature world. But it was actually about racism. And I actually didn't... You know what I mean? It's, like, there's levels to it. In all, like, animated movies. Like, in, uh... Even in, uh... What's it? Uh, Kung Fu Panda. There's a lot of, like, this, like, true yogic lessons in there but you think it's a kids movie they're learning yeah for sure yeah they're learning yeah, yeah well why right. do you think anime is so popular that's nowadays? true you know it's weird how like the the conventional stereotype is that like black people like anime you know they're always like um they're always like oh naruto you know well it's because like, they're Dragon all over the internet right now they're all yeah, over the internet about ex it. Exactly, about and I'm, wonder, I'm wondering why, you know? Like, if, if I were to psych, like, armchair psychologist this, it's all about oppression, you know? Because, like, they're, they've been oppressed, and, like, those, those shows are all about, like, breaking free from the weak person that you were. You know, like, Goku's always training to become stronger than he is. You know, but it's, he, like, uh, it's like a comeback well, story, Well, he enjoys martial arts so much, that's why. Who, Goku? Yeah. But I wonder what it like. He I loved to... it. That's why he practices it, and he's always looking for the best. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I I'd love to talk to uh, uh, somebody that's like super into anime, that's like black, just to get their opinion on it. There's it's, uh, just, it's the same as talking to some like an Asian person, white person, or an Asian person into anime. You know no, what I mean? Like, it's like but, exactly the same. But but it's like why is that like a meme right now? Like a. Uh, like a good example is that no, it's, it's, it's not it's, it's just those the same guys it's just a one group of guys oh i see i see okay okay it's not multiple people it's that one guy that always dresses up as naruto and the other one dresses up as um like there's one that dresses up as sasuke and right then, right right you know like and they just run around they run around their city <laughs> and fake fighting but but there was this uh this uh producer this music producer uh, i forgot who he was he he produced for drake and uh, I was watching an interview for him because I, I like watching like artist uh, interviews just to get their insight, like how they got there. And he was wearing yeah. some freaking full on Naruto getup, yo. Like the hosts were like, "What are you wearing?" And he's like, "Oh, it's it's a uh, it's a Konoha headband." You know, and they're <laughs> like, "What the hell's a Konoha?" You know, even like being into that Asian stuff, I was like, "Oh yeah, I totally get it." You know, we get it, yeah, exactly, because we're into it. We know yeah, it. for sure, for sure. But and, he, and he's just like, I was like. Maybe he's branching out, trying to get into these people, you know, the anime guys. Trying to be like cultures and stuff, eh? Yeah, like uh, break out of the culture. Right, go in, right. Go into the, the the Japanese market now. But do you, do you think that's a weird thing, like seeing different cultures on different races? No. Why? All right, all right, all right let, me, let me put it this way. If, uh, uh, let's say you, let's say you meet like a freaking, um, Ah, uh, what's a good example? Oh, okay. okay, okay. What, if, what if you meet like a, an Indian dude and he's acting super black, like he's acting super ghetto and like all that? Would you think that's weird? 
No, I've seen that growing up. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I say you're right, right. You're right. That that's true. That's true. So, but you don't find that weird at all. Like, what? Why is that called like cultural, um, like cultural merging? It's not weird. Not for me, no. Oh, well, just because, like, especially in Toronto. Like, if you look at Toronto. Oh, because of the multiculturalism. Itself, how yeah. many? Yeah. How many cultures does Toronto have? We have. I swear, we have every single person, like every country in our in our in our city. Right, 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 right. Interesting. I'm not I... trying to be racist or anything. No, no, for it's sure. Just yeah, like, yeah. If you look at Toronto, we have so much diversity. It's so it's so multi diverse. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, culturally diverse, uh, that it's it's you you can't be you can't be um, surprised when like a black person likes anime. It's like, of course. True. No, no, but it's like it's like. I, I get it if I get it if um I get it if you like it and it's like okay I like it but if you rep it too hard is what I'm saying mm. you know like like if uh um like the whole wearing the anime outfit thing like I think that's like a little next level you know but I guess anybody who's extra like that do you remember um do you remember that guy uh the guy from our high school who always wore that freaking um, that freaking get up, like that anime get up. No, uh, he was dating the singer. I don't want to say their names, but he was dating the girl who's a singer. Um, starts no. with the G. Her name starts with the G. No. Uh, yeah. She got married. Oh, oh, oh. There yeah, you go. Yeah, Thanks, bro. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So remember that guy? He like I kind of feel like anybody like that is like a little too extra. It's like looking at a goth kid, you know? It's like, why why are you so gothy, yo? For like Yeah, he was always a cool guy, man. No, no, he was like a cool guy. Yeah, yeah. No, no, for sure, for sure. But it's like Um But then you... yeah, like like if you see his crowd, like it makes sense. So. For sure, for sure. But what what I'm saying is like, do you find that like that's what I mean about the cultural going too far? Like it's one thing to like, yeah, you like the music, you like to like, you know, whatever. Like Sunshine likes black music, you know. It's like, all right, yeah, that's cool. But I, I mean, like, I mean stuff like um, like that, wearing the uh, the outfits and stuff, like repping too hard is like kind of weird to me, you know. Mm. Well, you know, there's a there's a time and place for that, and it's and that's when it, 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 those uh, anime expos happen, you know. Yeah, it, that's what I'm saying. But then when he went to like our high school and was like rocking that stuff, it was like, oh man, this guy's like, this guy's going next level on it, you know. That's funny. And like the trench coats and stuff he'd always have is so funny. Yeah. I want a trench coat, yo. I've always wanted a trench coat. Yeah, but that's like. I'm looking for one. Oh really? To you want honest. a trench coat? Yeah. But like, what kind of trench yeah. coat? I mean, like, there's like trench there's, coats like, there's and there's like anime or... trench coats. Okay, a trench coat so that when it rains, I have at least it's something stylish I can wear. Okay, so you're going for style, right? So it's like, okay, I get that. But like, when no, you no and function, and function. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But like, those you have to use the model of. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Those like next level ones are like too weird for me. Oh, look at this. It's blowing stuff up. Yeah. You, you ever, uh, you know, fishing scams? This re this recently happened to me when I was walking back. I was like, oh, remember I was like, oh, it'll be in 15 minutes. So I was like walking back yeah. and I was reading my emails. And uh, it was so weird because it's like uh, you, like it was like an e-transfer thing. And it's like you, you need to click on this thing to uh, receive your e-transfer from the government. And I was like, what the hell? And at first yeah, I was like, right? At first I was like, oh sweet, like who gives me, who gave me the money, right? And I was like all excited, like well maybe it's like a client or something. And then when they they ask you to like click on that that link, it's like oh no, straight up like you need to be wary of this. They're gonna take your money. <laughs> Even when you clicked it. <laughs> well, what? I didn't. Click what? It. What warned you? No, it was like an what email. What warned you? It, it was an email. Or you oh, mean okay. like what what tipped me off or like what warned me like what told yeah. me to go do it? Well, yeah. What told you that there it would be a uh, scam? It, it was like be careful with it. Oh uh so it oh so okay, so uh one thing I do for my clients is like they'll ask me questions all the time, they'll like send me emails or like, is this real? Blah blah blah. And like what I do and I like I advise them on if it's real or not. You just look at the the link. Like if it says like um 
if it's a huge string of like numbers and stuff, um, it's typically like somebody's trying to take info from you or like if it's like from TD bank and then you have to like look at the bottoms and stuff and see if like, if the, um, like, cause, cause you can't, so somebody who's trying to pull that scam, it'll be like TD, um, TD insurance, blah, 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 blah. But TD bank has propriety, propriety, propriety over that URL. So if it's not a TD bank, like specific link, and if it's something else like privacy dot, you know, blah, blah, oh, blah, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. then, then it's but like, what okay, if, they, what if they have like TD, TD bank investments, and then they add like a, a G or something. You yeah, know, for that, sure. That easily missed. Exactly. exactly. It's, that. it's very, it's very difficult to like, uh, to like tell, you know, like for, for you the, the novice person. The easy way. How? You want to know? How? How? You never give out your credit card information or any of your bank information at all. For sure. That's true. That's true too. Yeah. And uh, I was, I was talking to TD about this before and they were saying like, don't, uh, we would never contact you. Like if we're going to contact you, we're going to call you, you know? Yeah. We'll never contact you and tell you to, to, um, put in your bank information through email. Never. Exactly. Exactly. There was this other thing, uh, at Best Buy. It's saying like, um, it was like warning, like scams about you can pay your, um, uh, uh, your taxes, your like CRA tax with, uh, with a gift card now. What? Yeah, I know. I was like, but it's uh, so like, it's funny. Cause like we, we grew up at that time. That's like in that sweet spot, you know, uh, we, we grew up in that sweet spot time where, uh, we got to see the internet evolve. Right. But like our parents and stuff or like people who are older than us, they never got to see that sweet spot. You know, they, they, they only got to, they only got to see like, what is the internet? Like they didn't grow up with it. Like we did. Right. Uh, okay. So like a okay. lot of, a lot of them, like they actually don't know the obvious clues. Like my dad, one time I, I came home and he's like, uh, he was like, Oh, I'm on the phone with Apple. I'm like, why would you be on the phone with Apple? And he's like, yeah, I got this pop up saying that I need to fix something. So like I look on his, on his, um, I look on his computer screen and I'm like, no dad, this is like spam, man. They got him to wait for like 40 minutes. For what though? Like, what was the gain from, for him waiting there? Cause he had to call in. Right. So like you're, it, you know, like when you make a call and then you get like paid for your call, like think of like a, like a hotline, you know, like you pay in kind of thing. Like as soon as you call the phone number, they'll charge your phone. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So like it was Did one you of see the his bill after. No, nah, well, they don't care about their bill. They're like, whatever. But I was like, dad, how long have you been on there? He's like, oh, like. 40 minutes and like they're taking forever and then i'm like no this is fake man so they just like scammed him out of like and he's like oh how am i supposed to know like he's getting all upset you know like how am i supposed to know and i'm like i was thinking about i was like how are you supposed to know you know like that's a good yeah that's a good observation which one Th them that you're like the uh, the generation that did not grow up with the internet yeah no, not no, know yeah. the obvious the obvious clues Exactly. I, I exactly. Guess yeah. That's what they're targeted. That's why they're targeted. For sure. For sure. And th that's what I was saying. Like most of my clients, they'll ask me that. Like they'll just forward me an email and be like, "Is this is this real?" And I'm like, I'm "Like what? Obviously, it's fake." But in my head, it's it's obvious, right? But they don't see it's obvious. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like, uh, like they again, they they didn't grow up with it. Mm. So like being told like you need to call this right now or else your your computer's gonna get a virus. They're like, "Oh no!" You know. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with a virus, so I should call. Exactly, exactly. Or like, or like, oh, it must be legit. It came up on my computer screen, you know. Can you set the waypoint? Oh, for sure. Sometimes I'll get like calls too, which is like really weird. Um, that like they'll, they'll be like, no, no, they'll like they'll like. Uh, I don't know if you got this, but they're like, oh, you're in trouble if you don't you didn't answer your phone because like I'll see it like it's like okay, it's like a total scam number. And then they're like, I'll listen to the message they leave. They're like, oh, we were a part of the government. We were trying to get a hold of you. But the fact that you didn't, um, you didn't uh, answer your phone, you're now charged with blah, blah, blah. You must call us back at this number in order to, like, fix your charges, you know? <laughs> it's crazy, man. They were, like, do some, like, nuts I stuff get... now. I don't pick up any phone calls from a number I don't recognize. Right, yeah, totally. Yeah, I agreed. 
And it's, it's funny though. Cause it's like, even though you know it's fake, there's always that little bit of like fear that it might be real. You know what I mean? I'll take my chances. True, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what my mom said. I was like, oh, I don't know if this is real or not. She's just like, oh, whatever. It's fine. Who cares? Exactly. If it's real, then they would knock on my door. Exactly, exactly. But then they would but send then the you, unit. You always start thinking, like, what did I do that could have warranted this kind of blah, blah, blah? You know what I mean? It, it's sort of like when your parents are like, sort of like when your parents are like, hey, I want to speak to you. And you're like, oh, God, what did I do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and then you automatically go through all of the things in your head that it could possibly be. Ooh. Okay, you know what to do, right? Yeah. Get in there. Get in and kill. Oh, and will I drive behind you and just shoot them? Oh, too bad. Oh, no. oh. I don't know if you could take my... Oh, I got killed. That's craziness. Yeah. Okay, I'm gone. Alright, that's cool. Come back behind you. I want to make this last one. I'm going to get some food. Yeah. Yeah, uh, do you um do you ever like take into account like I don't want to say this in a weird way, but like prana? <laughs> like I know that sounds weird, but like uh like prana in terms of like your environment, you know? Cuz I'm like um, I oh, live right next to right? And it's really weird how like so now that I live in a more like active area, it's like you can totally see the complete difference between like living in the suburbs and like living in the city, you know, like the approach is completely different, you know, like the, what's the, the difference since you've, you've gone through the shift, uh, my I, shift was when I was 17. So I it's like, I've, I've noticed that everything's more efficient in a city, you know, like when, when we're back, when I'm back in that area, it's like, if I want a coffee, I need a car. I can't just like walk to get coffee. We can no, like at that Mr. Bean. No, bro. I know there's Mr. Bean, but but I don't like I don't like the small townness of it. How like you have to go there and then you're like, uh, oh, how's your day? You know, like oh, I know somebody. I like it. I do. Oh really? I'm very personable like that. So true, true, true. I think it's because I was like uh like an instructor in that area, like with your brother. So it's like for me, they see us in it, a for very you, it's different too much. light. It's you know what much. I mean? It's like yeah. oh, like what do you do yeah. now? Like, oh, you train my kid, and it's like oh, yeah, I just wanted a coffee, bro. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> but like yeah. uh like well, you... I'm I'm not I'm not that well known, you know, I'm not that popular here, so I enjoy <laughs> the I, I I love I love the like the privacy of it. It's just like you know. Just oh, in the small town. Let me do. Let me do me. That's me true. That's me. true. Don't bother me, you know. But but like yeah. um but like getting stuff like, like you definitely need a car in a small in a like uh in the suburbs. You know what I mean? Oh damn! Yeah. yeah. But like over here, it's like I can walk to stuff. Like, there were, I ran at a coffee in the morning, so I walked over to like Starbucks, which is like two minutes away. You know. Yeah. Whereas like or like Best Buy's right across is the street. A, is me. A, Starbucks here is three minute drive. Yeah, but it's a drive though. Imagine walking to that. <laughs> oh god, I walked that before, and it's like that's like a forty five minute. Like you want your coffee if that's gonna happen. Yeah, you, know? you definitely want your coffee. Yeah. No, but then now you can stop by, and there's a Popeyes now, so you can eat a little bit to replenish your energy. Then you can walk back. <laughs> it's like, but for that coffee, you gotta commit to like. Like, I got things to do, man. Like, can't, can't yeah, commit, commit that. to, like, three, four hours. <laughs> yeah, just get that coffee. Yeah. Or, or like, uh, technology and stuff. I find, uh, like, because cause Best Buy is, like, right next to my apartment. So, like, over there, it's, like, you got a mission to Scarborough Town, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. God. Yeah. I did that to right? get this PS4. Exactly. I, I see the benefit of a car in, uh, in the, the suburbs and stuff. You definitely need it. But like in city, yeah. I, don't, I don't think you really need the. The only you problem don't need though, it. it's it. You know what it is in the city. What status? Cars? It turns to just status. Oh, yeah. if you have a car, yeah, yeah for sure, yeah. If you have a totally, car totally. in the city. Yeah, you don't actually need a car in the city. Like, like what kind of totally bouginess different. do you need to be? You know, like you need to chill. Yeah, that's but, true, eh? But if but if you're in the suburbs, it's like, to say. total utility. Yeah. Um, uh, one thing I do like about the suburbs, though, is that there's like a total. I know it's gonna be so racist, but it's like there's not racist, but um, uh, I don't know. Stere stereotype. I don't know. So it's gonna be negative. Profiling. Sounding. Profiling. Yeah, yeah. So uh, there, there's like no homeless people in the uh, the suburbs, and I love that. Except for the one guy in that area. 
Like, Which one? The one by the highway? Uh, no, there there are actually a, quite a few. There's a lot of people like asking for money, but I mean like homeless, like like kind of like cray cray homeless. Oh yeah, you know what I mean? I don't like, know where the one is. No, uh, I don't even know where there, this guy is. The guy that's lived there forever, the Wayne guy. Yeah. I don't know. No, like the the iconic homeless man in our area, who's like always at St. Joe's. I just don't know where he lives, though. No, he doesn't live. I don't think he lives anywhere. He's just like. I thought he was honestly. I thought he was. I thought he was honestly just like he had a house and he was just asking people for money as a job. Oh no! I I heard that. Uh, what happened is like he had he had he's actually super rich, and uh, <laughs> it's so funny. We're like that's how you yeah. know you're famous. Yeah, and then he's like, asking people for money. Uh, but the reason why is because he went cray cray, like his family and stuff. Wow. Yeah. So like, he uh, he had like a mental breakdown or something, and like he's actually like a doctor or something like that. He just chose to like live a life of poverty. Yeah, because he's Siddhartha. <laughs> no, why would you ask people for money, bro? Like, just use he the had money. to go through. The he, poverty? I know, right? He even asked, he asked, like, when I was in grade five and stuff for money. Yeah, he lived, like, he's been there forever, you know? I'm grade five, man. Yeah, exactly. Grade exactly five. Yeah. How much money do you think I have? Yeah, for sure. But, like, that's funny. It, it'll be interesting to see if, like, he dies and then who's going to go to his funeral because he was such, like, an iconic person, you know? Like, it's sort of like the guy what? at the freaking, uh, you want to take your photo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll go to a cool looking spot. Um, Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Hello. <laughs> What's up? I'm just on a podcast right now. <laughs> Can I call you back? I'd say you know the podcast is real and unedited. All right. Okay, I'll call you later. Okay, bye. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, so, uh, so, uh, oh wait, why did I get off? Okay. It, it'll be interesting to see, like, remember the guy at the Morningside Theater? Yeah, yeah, yeah. where everyone uh, did a fundraiser for him. Oh, really? Well, what did he have? Did he have cancer or something? Did he die? Um, I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I apologize. You know, I'm not from Scarborough, I guess, since I don't know the details. But I know the guy, though. Like, that guy was so Yeah, everyone, like, everyone in Scarborough knows the guy. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. was the ticket ripper since... Since time, I, I, you know? I, I don't know. Yeah, since I first started going to that theater. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it's funny because, like, so. if you think about it, it's like, oh damn, sorry. It's interesting when you think about it, it's like, what was his life like? When you start thinking about people as like, like, uh, so all right, good example. So my uh, my dad, he loves these songs that uh, he'd always play me. Right. He has like a specific set of songs that he'd always play with his brothers. Blah blah. blah. And then I was playing them in the car, and then he was saying, oh, I remember when my like. I remember when my my brother would sing this to me and then I started singing it too and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Like in my head, I was like, wait, you had a life before me? You know what I mean? <laughs> and, right, right? I was like, oh, I thought you just liked this song. It's like, I didn't know there was a whole backstory to the song that you were like listening to. You know? Yeah, but look at back in the day, like people, they didn't listen to music the way we do. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's they true. made their music. That's why the Filipinos always play the guitar. Yeah, you and my girlfriend, true. when I went to that, when we went to the, your your party, my uh -huh. girlfriend's like, it's it's so Filipino, like the. the oh like, yeah, yeah, my cousins, right? Yeah. And they were playing. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, totally. I, was, I just told them, I was like, it's a Filipino thing because, like, when you were back in the Philippines. That's true. The, I never thought the about guitar that. Actually, is, the guitar is your music, so it's like. For sure, yeah. But now nowadays they are they have the like like Spotify and stuff, but right, like before right, that, right, right, right. before that, this was music to them, nothing else. So. Uh, that's really true actually man i never thought about it like that it's like because they're so like poor and like away from technology in the philippines yeah yeah, yeah. well some some areas are yeah mm -hmm. uh, so that's why it's it was pretty funny yeah and i was just like yeah that's a filipino thing that's normal to me and she's like oh that's new it's kind of new to me i was like okay dude oh my god no no so funny all right, I'm going to drive around for a bit because I want to finish this thought because this is so true. So um, you know how we grew up like uh, we grew up and everything seemed like normal, right? Like because uh, the three of us were Filipinos. You, me, Brentley, we're all Filipino. Vish, uh, Vish spent a lot of time with my family. 
uh, and Jared was like always around too. Like yeah, the majority of us were Filipino, right? And like yeah. all the parties and stuff. Like we had Filipino tendencies. So then only now through like branching out into different cultures, I realized that the way we grew up was totally not how people grow up. You know, like no. being close with your like you're close with your cousins, right? They no, they they are like my friends. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's crazy. It's crazy yeah. to think about it like that. Like like uh, Arvel and stuff. Like they're all like my, like I consider them like well they are family, but it's like they're like your friends, yeah, and like you. But you don't mind them being around. It's not like a burden having. The exactly, family around. exactly. But then when you branch out no, into different like, cultures, it's like they're they're all kind of like oh I gotta go to this family party, and it's like oh weird. I like I would enjoy a family party, you know. We want to see our families. It'll be like yeah. yo, like I, that's how I am with my, my cousins. They'll just be like yo, what you, like what are you doing? Like what are you saying, man? Yeah, exactly, yeah, right? Yeah, let's go. And and let's that's go like out. a that's a distinctly Filipino thing though that I've like come to realize. Is it? Like, I don't. I didn't no, think it was a Filipino bro, I'm thing. No, it's, it's crazy, yo. Like I don't I, know about I, that. I, I, I was with you. I was totally with you because I was like, no, no, everyone grows up like this. And then like branching out into different cultures. Like, I don't want to say how I, I branch out in different cultures, but I branch out into different cultures. I'm like, oh no, like that is a distinctly Filipino thing, you know? Like to say mm. that your cousins are your friends. But, like, I think it's because, like, on the island, it's, like, it's so hard. Like, the hardships are there that you have to band together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For them. Whereas, like, if you're, like, in a European kind of vibe, it's, like, all right, go make it on your own. A right, good example. So, like, uh, like my dad would always say this. He's, like, he's like, oh, it's a good thing we didn't kick you out when you're 18. You know, because that's very, like, Western culture. It is Western culture. Right? So there you go. Another good example. It's, like. If I wanted but to, but now I could you're just going eastern, home. western. It's 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 collectivist, or you know, they're independent. So it's oh, like, I see, I see, I see. No, no, but like, uh, yeah. all right. So in, like, what, what other? So the, all right. So I'm reading this. Uh, I was reading when I was in Asia. Uh, this uh, Lonely Planet book, and they're saying like in it uh, that that Filipinos are the most jovial, lighthearted, loving people. You know that in the Asian continent. You know, we have that reputation. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. It was like, really? it, yeah, it was actually written about. And then like when, when I see it, oh, can you just jump off? I'll, I'll jump back on. Oh, you're Oh, okay. You drove away. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, yeah, when, when I see it and stuff, uh, it's like, no, it's totally true. Like you just whip out a guitar. Everyone's going to sing. Everyone's going to make everyone feel included. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and they're like, oh, how come you're not singing? Oh, how come you're not drinking? You know, it's like, it's like, oh, Wait, that's like. Uh, you know what I mean? It's no. like the first thing they do is like, did you eat? Right? So like straight typical Filipino. Make, make sure make sure everyone's taken care of first. Weird, right? But it's like it's a very hospital like because I remember going to different parties and stuff, and it's like you're even as a kid, and it's like very like separate, you know? It's kinda like it's kinda like, oh, I have to act normal, I have to be behave and I have to ask them these specific questions, you know, but like when I get together with like my family parties, it's like, yo, you wanna wrestle? Yo, you wanna fight? Yo, you wanna I'll go draw. You want to do something? Anything. We, there's no like. There's no like. No oh, how was school? Talk, no, nothing. Yeah, no yeah, small no, talk. No, no. That's like, what it is. Just, it's just being in the company of the the family. It's for like, sure, for sure. Uh, and yeah. and then and then like your aunts and uncles will come down. Like, oh, did, did everyone eat? Did you guys eat? You need a drink? You want a drink? And you're like, uh, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> who's just, ready? Okay, everyone, who's ready? Come upstairs when you want to eat. All right. Yeah, right. And it's like, oh no, totally. But again, that's like it's a very stereotypical Filipino thing. Is it? I don't know. Like my girlfriend's family, so my girlfriend's Chinese, and uh -huh. they have a family party once a month. Okay, are, are they like that? And like it's like, like they do it so that the whole family is always together at least once a month. All right, I I I get that. It's so like they okay, celebrate. I see they the celebrate like the birthday. They celebrate the birthdays once a month. But I'm talking so about the dynamics. Yeah, so. Like everyone's um, got parties, right? But it's like if you feel the dynamic of the environment, are you like yeah, comfortable? Yeah, everyone okay. tries to keep each other comfortable. Everyone tries to eat. It's the same. Like I, I was just like, oh, it's normal. Oh, okay, okay, that's good then. It's normal for me. It's like the kids have their own little. Like the only thing is for the Filipinos with food. Uh huh. Um, we just lay it out like a potluck, a buffet, do whatever you want. Right, where, right, right, right. Where like her her family is like everyone eats together at the same time. See, there you and go. For, see, but that's what I'm up. saying. That's what I'm saying. That's the formality right there. And that's, that's the difference, you know? It's like, we're so into what makes you comfortable. Like, my family would never, ever, like, I don't remember a single time when they're like, okay, we're all going to eat right now. 
Like, no, no, yeah. no. Of course, it's like, it's like, we'll pray and then we'll eat. You can take from the food. But it's not like, all right, we're all going to sit in this room and we're all going to discuss our lives. You know? They allow you to have your no, own everyone just Everyone does their own thing. Everyone, like, branches off into their own thing. And then it'll be like, okay, everyone, come come together. We're all going to eat now. Interesting. You know? hmm. Yeah. So, like, yeah, the kids will all, every kid will be on their own type of thing. You get to choose where you want to go, what you want to do. There's right. a lot of options. People playing cards. There's... There's a piano there if you want to play. There's TV really? people watching. Yeah, yeah okay, like so... it's just like yo, like do what you do what you want. But then we'll call everyone once the food's all ready, or like when, once everyone arrives, that's when people eat. Right, right. Or in right. the Filipino thing, it's like, okay, food's here, let's go. Right, and then right. And then right. as people come, we're we're bringing more food and more food, and it's just like. Like eat when you want to. It's, so, uh, that's... so do you think it's more of like an east? So you think I'm just speaking more about east versus west thing? Because I don't actually hang yeah, out with. I think it, I that think, many. I, I don't. Like, I don't no, no, know cause... how it is in other con- in other cultures. I don't. I only know my cult. Like my. What's my your family what's your, and then, What's your girlfriend's uh, then, ethnicity? It's Chinese. Just straight Chinese, no Filipino in there. Well, she, no, no, not at all, zero. Oh, okay. She's Taiwanese and uh, like her dad's uh, Chinese Trinidadian and then her mom's Taiwanese. Okay, interesting. So hmm. her dad grew up in Trini. Yeah. And then her mom in Taiwan and then they moved to to Canada. Who's whose family? So they're is a little. It? They're more. They're a little more Western. They're more low, like really Western because. Whose whose family parents... do you go to for the the family parties? Uh, which side? Yeah, yeah, is it like the mom's side? The mother's side. So it's the more Chinese but the, the, one. The, 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 father's, the father's side comes too. Oh, okay, that's interesting. They don't host oh. it, but they we all come together. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, it's like an anomaly for me then. No, because I know like like uh, like different like the different levels of Asian, right? There's like there's like the more ultra collectivist one, even though like you know Japanese are more collectivist, they're like also up up not uptight, but like they're proper, you know. Yeah, very proper. Yeah. So, so that's why I'm like, I don't, I couldn't see a Japanese family doing what we do. It's like, all right, break out the guitar. So then, why did she have the whole reservation thing where she's like, oh, this is new to me? Is it just the singing? The guitar, yeah, the guitar and the singing. It's oh, like, it's like super jovial. It's like she's like, it's so cute that like the cousins would all do that type of thing. But see, that that's what I'm saying. So like, we have that reputation for. Okay, being, I get it. You know what okay. I mean? So, because th- I was like, wait, what? No, there's a diff- definitely a difference here. Okay, right. It is. It's 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 the guitar and then people singing and yeah, it's just that that okay that the, that dynamic is. But that, but that's what I'm saying. It's like it's very jovial. It's like let's let's ha- like celebrate here. But I heard that the whole celebration is because wait, uh, if you're driving, can you drive to like maybe a mountainish area? We'll take the screenshot there, as I finish this. I don't uh, know. Spot. Okay. Uh, Does so... anyone know a good mountain? <laughs> See, tweet it out like, where's, where's the map let's just go up so, um, let's just go north so like I, I was hearing that like because like especially when I went to like the island stuff it's like uh, life is so hard and death is like around the corner so you laugh it off in order to like maintain the moment you know what I'm saying oh, like, they, that's the mindset that like from uh, from, from uh, my uncle uh, from also vice the the dude in the the freaking I posted this is thing, in the like, Philippines yeah the Philippines the Philippines like death is so easy here you know that oh yeah they're oh, very yeah. jovial my my mom would t- like told me a story like oh yeah we were just hanging out in the streets and then my friend got stabbed and then oh, stood up goodness. and started hanging out with us oh really the, yeah? the friend just got stabbed didn't go to the hospital nothing just held his held his wound and just hung out with my parents wow type of thing. That's crazy. It's like it was normal. It was like normal. Right, you know right, I mean? right. But see, see, like, but I don't see again. So like, uh, another culture that's very into death is like the Indian culture, right? Like, um, death is very prevalent there, right? Uh, and like, cause like through Vish, I know this stuff. Like, you know, living, dying, super easy. I've talked to like uh, other people that have been to India, uh, and they're saying like, you know, there's like a lot of suffering. The untouchables there, right? Sorry, you're cutting off. Oh, sorry, sorry. You're cutting off right now. Yeah. Hello? Hello? There you go. Much better. All right, cool. So like um so like in different there are different Asian cultures that also experience death, you know, uh such as like uh the the Indian culture with their uh, untouchables, right? You've heard of the untouchables? The caste system? No. You never heard of the untouchables? 
the movie no no, no. I, <laughs> that's good that's good no, no not the movie <laughs> um the the untouchables oh, right there. let's go ahead. let's go, oh, yeah, we'll go ahead. no uh, mountain we're gonna have the water that's right, cool, cool. cool right there the uh the untouchables are the cast the lowest cast for uh indian culture so like they uh like they're so low that like if they die like nobody cares it's, okay. it, and, and also like they're also called the untouchables because you can't touch them because they're so low on the the socioeconomic ladder wow yeah, yeah, yeah totally and like um somebody who is uh a uh, friend of Tara's was, uh, they lived in India for a while because she was doing like some rich, oh, this is a nice picture. Uh, they lived in doing like retreats and stuff. And uh, she said that um, she was like mortified by India because like they were on the bus and then this person got hit. She saw somebody get hit and then nobody cared. They just kept moving on with their lives. You know. Uh, I'm trying to take off this helmet. Um, that's pretty crazy. I didn't even know. I didn't that. even know that was a thing. Yeah, so 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 that's what I'm saying. It's like uh, the Indian culture is also very into death. Oh, that's kind of ironic. Can you kill because... me right now? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's let's do an example of death right now. <laughs> All right. Cool. I like it. Uh, let me just pull out my gun. Right in the head. Sniper shot. Right in the head. Three, two, one. Get ready for <laughs> reincarnation. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine if life was a video game. We could just do that. Like, we wouldn't know. Yeah. If you died, you just wake up again. It's like a baby. It's like a reset. <laughs> That's all it is. Oh, man. The helmet's still there. Oh, too bad. I'm... Yeah. Where are you? Oh, I'm oh, still at the water cross. place. You're yeah, so... so Oh, dang. You got swim now? It's kind of swim over. Yep. So, uh, so, like, there are different Asian cultures that, um, that also associate a lot with death, right? But they're not as jovial. So it's like... I don't know what it is that made Filipinos jovial, but even like the Spanish, when they conquered them, they, con they didn't conquer them through might. Well, they did actually later on, but in the beginning, like it was all about like um, coming together and like they, they conquered them mainly through religion and not through force. Yeah. Well, they uh, knew they weren't, they couldn't scare us with death. I guess, yeah, but like, but the uh, the villager, like in the story of like our niece, when I was reading about it, uh, the the village king was just like, oh, like who are you, and like let me just uh, let me bring you like the Spanish. Uh, remember, you ever hear of Lapu Lapu? Mm, I've heard somewhat of it. All right, so he's like a great Filipino hero who he's like a tribesman. Can you punch me? Oh, for sure. Yeah, he's like a tribesman. And uh, have you punch? Oh, there it is. Circle? Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I don't think it's going to take it off, bro. You're in the water right now punching me. I'm in the water? Oh, there you are. Something. Maybe run me over. I don't know. I want to, this off. To take take it off. off. <laughs> yes. Just, just uh, choose a different outfit or like put on a hat. Or something like that. Uh, then I have to change my full outfit. Uh, that's true. I feel you. So sad. <laughs> Too bad, yo. Oh no, there oh, you go. How'd you do that? Oh, thank you. Oh, cool. Jump oh. down the water. Oh, that was easy. There it is. There it is. Oh, the whole time. Well, reincarnation gave me the power and ability. The lesson. The lesson to. I like it. Find an alternate way. <laughs> Where do you want it to be? Here, I'll do it right there. I uh, just get on my right side, left side. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So Lap Lapu Lapu was a great, uh, great warrior. And uh, so the first time the Spanish came, you, you ever hear Marco Polo? Oh no, not Marco Polo. Was it Marco Polo? I know he... Marco Polo, the guy from Netflix. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if it was Marco Polo. I think it was. Uh, well, I'm butchering it, but uh, he got killed. He was a Spanish person. And then, um, the... okay, here. Oh. Googling it. Sorry, I'm reading about Lapu Lapu. Oh, okay, perfect. Was perfect, a ruler yeah. of the Mactan and the Visayas. Yeah. Modern He's... Filipino society regards him as the first Filipino hero. Yeah, Arnis, because he was the first Arnis native to resist Spanish yeah, yeah. colonization. Exactly, exactly. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm playing this game on my phone called Mobile Legends. Uh -huh. So it's like League of Legends. Okay, that's cool. And they have a character named Lapu Lapu. No way. And he uses a double sword. 
Yeah, yeah, that's where Arnisa comes he, from. And then he has a special a special power that turns the two swords into one, and then he starts using one sword. Holy hell. Yeah. Yeah, so, so... Now, now that you told me that this is a hero, now I gotta choose the guy now. <laughs> being a Filipino. Yeah, so... <laughs> that's funny, yeah. Damn. Uh, so when, when the Spanish eventually came back, um, they were able to conquer... Like they were expecting a fight, right? So like, okay, like we just got killed last time, so we gotta like, we gotta be able to uh, defend ourselves. And then the tribesmen at the time was like, oh, like come eat, come eat and drink with us, come chill. And then ever since then, we started to get the reputation of being like a very hospitable uh, culture. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. So it all sparked from that. That and then like ever since then, they're just talking about how Filipinos are the most like uh, accommodating people. Uh... I did not know this at all. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, you know, I went to Filipino school eh? when I was a kid. That's where I had to learn all this, like, history lessons and stuff. So ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, we, like, tests on it. Yeah, it's so hard, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's better than learning about, you know, I'm not going to say. We'll just take it back. <laughs> I'll just they, take that back. Hold that. Hold they, that tongue, Sydney. It's it's funny because like uh, Joe Rogan, he posted this this thing. It's going all over the internet. But there's like a transgender man who identifies as a Filipino, but he's white. And it's like interesting. Dang. Why right. is like it's like all right. First of all, you're transgender, so you're already you're already going towards that end of the spectrum. And then like to say you're also Filipino, it's like okay, double. The, uh, no, the well, awareness. I can't say because there's a lot of Filipinos, a lot of Filipinas that use the whitening cream to try to make themselves look white. So, no, but this guy's like this guy's like white, white. He's like a big legit white, white. like a legit white fat guy. Uh, maybe he loves the Filipino women, like all a lot of white guys do. For sure, for sure. Filipino, but that... you know, Filipino women are are very popular amongst. That's true. Yeah, amongst other other cultures. Because so. the freaking they'll take care of you. That's it. <laughs> hospitable, yo. Hospitable. Hospitable. They'll take care of you. They'll cook for you. They'll clean for you. Exactly. Exactly. exactly yo. They'll, they'll wash your feet. They'll wash your feet, man. For sure. But but like. But the only thing is, they're just gonna gossip. That's gossip yeah, that's about true you. That's true too. That's about it. That's the yeah. only downfall. Other than that, they they are the best women in the world. It's like a trade off. Trade off. Yeah. But the funny part about that is, <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm generalizing everyone. Do not take it seriously. <laughs> but it's only e a joke. Even though, even though you say all that, it's funny because it's like both of us are not with Filipino people. I... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, they're the best. They're the best. Yeah, but are you with one? No, no. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. That's so funny. It, it's a small gene pool, yeah. That's why you're just like. I don't know if you're like related to me somehow. But we 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 are we are on the uh, on the mission of conquering the world. Filipinos. So that's why we have to go. Everyone has to go into the multicultural now. Oh, for sure. The yeah. Filipinos will be all over the world. They they say of Filipinos. They say it's going to be Indian and uh, Chinese in the future. Chinese. Yeah. Yeah, Indian Chinese. Yes, everywhere. Well, I I know in, I know in the I know. Yeah. I see. Where in China they have this rule that you can you can only have two kids. Yeah, yeah, they have like a one child policy and stuff. Is it one child now? Oh, uh, well, before it was one child, but I like Vish I was saying that they, now. Yeah, yeah, because too many people were having like, uh, j if they had a boy, they just abort. I mean, if they had a girl, they'd abort the boy. I mean, ah, if they had a girl, they'd abort the girl in favor of a boy. Yeah, well, because in the Chinese culture, boys, I don't know. Something about like the first son, first born son type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like gets your so, you get your yeah. name continued and stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Yeah, okay. That was good. All right. All right. Till next. Are you like covering your face, like as you the mic? Me? Yeah. This guy's playing no. underneath the blankets. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All He's right, rubbing yo. against my shirt. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're like a little yeah. muffled there. All right, yo, till next time, uh, go find a Filipino if you're white. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> any, any culture, any, anyone, I don't care what you are, go find a Filipino woman. She'll take care of you. She'll love you with all her heart. Unless you're Filipino. Unless you're Filipino yourself. <laughs> then go find somebody else. Back right. in. Um, do yoga. <laughs> Every part of yoga. Um, 
so that you can have that body awareness and build those micro muscles to deal with your, I don't know, I, I don't know. Yeah. Good summation. Yoga? Yoga, yeah. Filipino yeah. woman. Can't go wrong. Yoga. <laughs> Can't go wrong. I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Later. <laughs> I'll take it easy. Bye.